Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back, finally, to Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted on the Switch. Now, you may be wondering, actually, you're probably not wondering, because it's probably in the title and the thumbnail, what are we doing back on Help Wanted on the Switch? Well, it finally happened. We finally got Curse of Dreadbear DLC on the Switch, and so I'm here to play it. Thankfully, it seems like I haven't reset any of my data, so if we somehow manage to get past Corn Maze, hopefully we can get Vanny's Mask if that's in the DLC, which I imagine it will be. Uh, but as you can see, I haven't bought it yet, so I'll be right back. Ooh, Help Wanted's 50% off. There you go. And just in case you don't believe me, here it is. Curse of Dreadbear finally on the Switch. Dude, I am so excited. I freaking love Curse of Dreadbear, and so being able to take it on the go with me with the Switch, amazing. Huh. I didn't think about this. <laughs> oh, God. All right, one download later and probably a two, three minute intro at this point, we're ready to hop into Curse of Dreadbear on Lay Switch. And as default, I will be using the traditional Joy-Cons for this playthrough. Hopefully, Hand Unit tells me about the basket. Come on, buddy. Please be there. Congratulations. <gasps> it appears you have been granted access to additional holiday Let's content. Go! Press the special button in the candy pail to enter the Halloween hub. Oh, I'm so hyped. Keep in mind that this DLC pack is nothing more than a festive holiday themed add-on, which, which has, has absolutely, absolutely no, no hidden, hidden intent, intent or purpose. purpose. So, so have fun. fun. All right, let's hop into Curse of Dreadbear finally on the Switch. Hit the wrong button. There we go. <gasps> Here we go, boys, subscribe, hit the like button if you are excited for Curse of Dreadbear. Here he is. Hey, he doesn't look too bad on Switch. Hey, they actually did a pretty good job. With a Bonnie's back there, is Chica over there? Yes, she is, all right. Yeah, everything's here. They, they kept the lightning. Yeah, it's, so far it's looking pretty good. The eyes look a bit pixelated, but it is the Switch. And let's go to the Halloween hub. Please look good. Oh. <gasps> oh. Hey, we got the pirate ship. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Dude, the Halloween hub looks amazing. Good job, Steel Wool. This is awesome. Look at things back here. There's the Halloween house. The FNAF 4 house. Oh, dude, they did such a good job. The wait was worth it. So, as usual, we got Afraid of the Dark, Spooky Mansion, and also Danger Keep Out. But anyways, I'm gonna start it off plain and simple, nice and fun, pirate ride. Shoot the targets, get the high score, and that's it. Alright, I believe, yes, there are decorations. Oh, dude, they look so good. Steel wool. You guys did such a great job. <gasps> Ooh. Welcome hey, Foxy! Aboard, Captain Foxy's pirate adventure. You can help me with Sensitivity's a bit high, but that might be my game. Do your best, or I'll send you to Davy Jones Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be difficult on stick. For safety, I know for a fact. Right Ooh, it's a lot brighter. That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I can actually see the decorations here. Awesome. Yeah, th doing this on a stick is Ahoy. probably not gonna be the best. But, I'm gonna try. Oh god. Oh, yeah, no, no way. Come on, hit the targets. Come on. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I don't think any amount of changing the sensitivity is gonna aid me here. This is very difficult. But, I mean... I guess in VR, you do actually get to aim with your hands, so... It makes sense that it's more difficult on a stick. Oh, wait. Oh, get him. Come on. No, no, no! Oh, I got so close to the bonus round. God dang it. Is Helpy over here? No, he's not. There are some alternate routes in this game, and I kind of want to check them out, but I also want to beat the game. Uh, probably not this episode. It may take, like, two. I don't think I need to do any more than three episodes on this. Uh, where's Helpy? He hasn't shown up yet. Usually, he's here by now. Did I get that? Oh my gosh, I think I got the one on the sword. Come on. One more. <sighs> Dude. There's one up here, I know. Oh, I was way too high. There we go. 
Oh, look at this. Very pixelated. Um, but, you know, again, it's the Switch. Makes sense. Here we go. I think you actually have to go through Pirate Ride a couple times to get healthy, so maybe he's not going to show up. Ooh, this doesn't look too good. Very blurry, very pixelated. Oh, there it is. It's loading in, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, but so far, I mean, animations are very smooth. Everything is controlling pretty well. Again, I think it's mostly my sensitivity. But I'm loving this, dude. I can't wait to play Coast of Dreadbear on the go. The real treasure was friendship all along. Happy birthday. Uh, yeah, look, you can see the elevator to the boiler room, or the breaker room, whatever. Um, so you can go different routes. A scallywag, I'll take it. See ya, Foxy. And here is the barn. Dude. Alright, we got two, uh, wolf posters and also a, uh, what does that say? Scarefest poster. So, unfortunately, no clowns. I can't get that again on Switch, but this looks awesome. Look at the candles. All the decorations, very detailed, very well done, Steel Wolf. I'll keep saying it. Our first prize is... <gasps> Funtime Freddy plushie! Awesome! So I think I haven't gotten all the, the basic plushies, or all the basic prizes, so... I don't think we're gonna get any Halloween-themed prizes in this video. I am curious, if I flip this... Can I get Glitch Trap dancing on the hill? I think you flip the switch, then you press the button. I should know all this, I did a video on all the easter eggs. Uh, fun fact, originally, if you did this, you would not have gotten Glitch Trap. Instead, there would be this huge Dreadbear that appeared uh, over near the house. I'll put a picture on screen because it was a really cool easter egg. And as neat as it is to see Glitch Trap in the DLC, that easter egg was awesome with, uh, with a giant Dreadbear. Oh, there he is. You, you can kind of see him. I'll zoom in on video, but yeah, you can see Glitch Trap. He is there, dancing on the hill. Yeah, nice to know that they kept good old Glitch Trap uh, as an Easter egg. And now, let's hop into a different game mode. I don't want to do the plushkins, but I do kind of want to see how they, uh, how they go on the Switch. I don't know if I'm going to beat everything in this playthrough. I kind of just want to, you know, play them a little bit. Okay, sensitivity is actually pretty good, um, but at the same time, it's been a bit since I last did the, uh, the plushkin, so if I don't know exactly where they are, my bad. I think we should get a jump scare, though, because being honest, I do not feel so confident, uh, hopping into this minigame. The plushkins and the, uh, the plush babies, definitely not, not my favorite minigames in Help Wanted. It's not that they're bad, necessarily, it's just... Well, they're kind of annoying. <laughs> I do have the baby plushie. Oh, God! Plush baby in real life. Where are they? Oh, I distracted myself. Oh, I, I see you. That's the Freddy. But where is the balloon boy? I see you. Got him. Oh, I see you in the tree again. Uh, where's balloon boy? Come on. He might be in the tree. No. Oh. Come on. Trick or treat. Where? Oh, I see you. No, that's Foxy. Oh, shoot. I'm dead. Sorry. Oh, shoot. Hey, jump scare looks awesome, though. I didn't see any blurriness, any pixelization there. And also, we get to see the death screen. <gasps> Yo, dude, he looks insane. Wait, Grim Foxy as well? Dude. Steel Wolf. This is insane. Way too dank though, holy crap. Dude, you are destroying my, my speakers and my- STOP! Maybe lower the volume on that laugh a bit, cause holy crap. <laughs> that is going to destroy some speakers. Alright, let's hop into hallway. Let's see what that's all about, and then I think we'll check out a few more, and then, depending on how long we've been going, I may call it and save it for an episode two. I do want to get the Vanny Mask, but I also want to check out every 
mini game, and I don't want this video being, you know, 45 minutes long. Again, I don't think I'm gonna beat every mini game, because unlike base game help wanted, you don't really get anything. The only ending technically in Dreadbear. Do I see? I thought I saw a Nightmare Foxy. Look, there's the the Foxy plushie. If you guys don't know, if you get too close to uh, Nightmare Foxy, he'll disappear into that box, and then he'll turn into a plushie. Kind of cute. Um, but yeah, unlike and there's Nightmare Freddy. So we gotta we gotta pick up the pace. We gotta go, just like how you guys gotta go, so I can keep going. Unlike base game help wanted, uh, Curse of Dreadbear, the only the only real ending is Vanny's mask. Oh, uh, there's some door around here, I think. But I'll keep going for now. What the hell is that? Um I'm guessing that was just Nightmare Foxy spawning. Oh yeah, it was. There we go. But that definitely definitely looked odd. And here's Nightmare Chica. So detailed. And there's Nightmare Freddy. Chica, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. And I gotta go. We gotta go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I can hear him. I am not looking back. No way, no how. Nobody open these doors. Because I have to go. I cannot stop. Or Nightmare Freddy and the Freddles are going to eat my flesh. Chica, do not open this door. I beg of you. And I think I can see the end of the hallway. So I'm just gonna keep walking. I'm gonna hope that Nightmare Bonnie goes away. I'm gonna, I'm hoping that you are leaving. You are leaving. You're leaving. Oh God, you need to go. Oh no, Chica, don't you open that door. Don't touch that dial. I think this is the door. I'm not seeing any windows. Oh my gosh, there's a shadow. Yes, 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 yes. Open, open sesame. There we go. Let's go, dude. Safe and sound in my bedroom, where I'm sure there's not a second hallway that all those creatures are coming from. New prize, what is it? Ooh, chicka chug. All right, now let's do build a mangle. I think I'm pretty decent at this game, but also I don't know how well and how sensitive it's gonna be on Switch. I guess we're gonna find out. Welcome to the Fazbear Entertainment Fulfillment Center. Today, we are assembling animatronic I performers. I forgot. Hand unit talks to you. unit will bring joy to the children at one of our many this Freddy Fazbear locations. This minigame definitely, definitely doesn't Just look the, the best. Components in the um, suit conveniently but again, it's Switch. You know, I usually give... Each work order is Give it unique, the benefit so of the doubt. Only the components as shown on the quad monitor array. So you zap with X. Use the high voltage shock buttons to gently remove <laughs> any unwanted critters that stumble onto the assembly line. Now, let's get to work. Ooh, you can shock them both at once. Three, two, still out of sync. Uh, okay. All right, let's go. Ooh, yeah, definitely does not look the best. I will tell you that just being straight up. Um. Also doesn't look like it's going to control the best, but eh, we're gonna see how it goes. So that was one, I need a, ooh, hello. Toy Chica leg, I believe, I need this, definitely. No, 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 put it, put it in the bin. That is very loud. I need a Freddy head. You can reach very far. Um, I am also going to need Freddy arm, question mark? Sure, sure. Uh, yes. Um, leg, I probably need that. I know I need you. Grab you, put you in there. Toy Chica head. Where is Toy Chica's head? Um, I think I need this. I'm gonna put that in. Toy Chica, come here, come here. Boom, and boom. Well done. Let's see how you do. Alright, definitely missed a few parts, but I think we should have good. 80%? That's not oh, bad. No. It looks like there aren't enough components. That's not bad. Perhaps the instructions were not clear. That's a passing grade. Perhaps That's like a B minus. Elsewhere. That's not bad. Come on, hand unit. Piece of cake. There we go. Animatronic engineering is just that simple. I remember See doing this mini game a whole lot when I was trying to get the um the it's me Easter egg in this prize area, and it's it's a pretty fun mini game. It definitely has grown on me. 
Uh, which, speaking of <laughs> three wolf posters, wow. I will say, I do think Steel Wolf decreased the chances of the clown poster. Because I feel like it's gotten very rare. Right? I feel like I... I don't think I've ever seen more than two since I got the Easter egg, which it has absolutely no hidden intent or purpose. purpose. So, so have fun. fun. Yeah, definitely heard that dialogue a whole lot when I was looking for the Easter egg. Uh, we're kind of speeding through these. We might not even have to do a second episode, because again, I don't think I'm looking to necessarily beat the full DLC, I just want to play through the mini games, you know? Because at the end of the day, you know, we have played through- oh, this is gonna be a weird mini game. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be an odd one, but let's give it a go. And it looks like- so to select a mask, you use the D-pad to navigate, and then you have to hold down ZL Okay, and then to look through the peepholes, you use L and R, the bumpers. Definitely an odd mini game, but I think I think it works fine. Um, I do like using the D-pad instead of having to, you know, oh no, it's Chica, move over there and you know select it. I can just go bop bop bop, and then boom, Chica. Uh, speaking of characters and Chica, I need to see who's at the door. <laughs> Alright, Freddy, uh, Foxy, Bonnie, Chica's moving, Balloon Boy's over there. I think it's gonna be Chica unless one of these guys move. Uh, yeah, no, definitely Chica. Dude, I predicted it. <laughs> it was actually Chica, okay. Hey, Chica. I think you can take the mask off. When they're at the door. But, if I die, we get a cool jump scare. So, let's have a look. Don't kill me! Hey! Dude, the animations and the detail are so well done. I know I keep saying it, but Steel Wall. Like, the wait was worth it. I know this was announced a long, long, long time ago, and we've all been very patiently waiting for this, but it's so nice to finally play Dreadbear on the go, you know? Alright, Chica's leaving. Uh, and you know, of course, I'm playing this docked for a video with the, uh, you know... Joy-Con's out, but since it's on the Switch, you can play Dreadbear on the go, you know? In the car, on a plane, you are like glitching through the wall, Foxy, that's, that's weird. You know, I'm just, I'm so happy that it seems like they're finishing up Help Wanted. I think Dreadbear still needs to go on phones. Alright, Freddy's the only one moving right now, uh, actually playing the game. Yeah, Dreadbear still needs to go on phones, I think. Um, I think, is it on Xbox? I don't know yet. Um, I think it is. No, it's not. I don't think it is. Um, <clears throat> and then hopefully at some point they can finish the- Hey, Freddy. Sorry, I'm <laughs> constantly talking so much, my, my voice is going. Um, yeah, hopefully they can find a way to put the rest of the levels on, you know, default phones, because if you don't know, only about half of the base game is on phones. They had to cut some minigames. So I would love to see the rest of the game on phones, and then at that point, with Dreadbear on Xbox, and hopefully everything else of Help Wanted on phones, that should be it for Help Wanted. Um, I don't know how soon, Xbox Curse of Dreadbear is gonna come out. I would love to have it out, you know, this year. I say that like I'm working at Steel Wall. Uh, I think a Halloween release would be cool. Uh, Bonnie is at the door, it seems like. Or Freddy, maybe. Uh, yeah, probably Freddy. Jesus Christ, I mangle. <laughs> you didn't show up last time. Can you go away? Oh, I need to look at you. I need to actually look at you. Um, it's Freddy. Come on. Last round, I can't lose it. <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, I'm happy that they're finally wrapping up Help Wanted. So then we can move on to... Ready? Okay, good. We can move on to Security Breach. Which again, hopefully, fingers crossed, this year. And now I get candy. Awesome. I love candy. Oh, you can do free roam. Could you do that during the actual game? Posters, Wolf, uh, Spookfest, and Spookfest. Awesome. Alright, what is the prize this time? Hey, we got the Halloween pal. The Halloween, uh, basket. Alright, moving on to Dreadbear. 
you know, it's such a fun DLC. I, I really, really do enjoy it. Um, and after Dreadbear, I think we can do this in one episode, we'll do Danger Keep Out. I'll probably only do Night 1 because... It's just FNAF 1, but extra Welcome spoopy, and then Corn Maze, and hopefully Today, get Vanny's mask. Science to pervert the mysteries of life and, and reanimate re the inanimate. To begin, inanimate. it is customary for the creator to give a melodramatic speech. <coughs> Go on, I'll wait. Boys, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube, maybe do All so. Done? Yes. Good job. Now, let's wake our little experiment with a I think last shot. time I did this, I was like, the we gather here today to, to celebrate life. Uh, but, you know, 2021, gotta be on the grind set mindset. <laughs> Come down, Dreadbear, I got work to do. Dude, the animations are so clean. I will say, this minigame, I mess up all the time. So, if I lose my B... Alright, hopefully we don't though. Time to throw the switch. It looks so good! Hey dude! It's a How's it hanging? But lacking the necessary control yeah, yeah, I know how to do this. Alright, so Y and A. One. So use the laboratory tools to adjust the brain's vital I need to get this down to three blueprints as a guide. Oh no, I need to get it up to nine. See, I don't even know how to play the gosh darn game. When there we go. Uh, throw this in. in head I need to get it all spiky, but at the same time kind of slow. Um. Oh. Whoa. This is weird. Um. I don't know how I increase and de- Oh. Okay, there we go. So it's up and down to increase and decrease. Left and right to navigate. So I need this to be super spiky. Uh, but not too spiky. <laughs> so, maybe about, um, there? And then I need it to be kind of slow. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Right? Kind of slow. And spiky, is that it? No, I need it to be way more frequent. Okay. Here we go. Is that it? No. Wait. That's it, okay. Colors! We, oh gosh, dude, <laughs> I'm not gonna do colors. <laughs> Luckily, it seems pretty easy to use. Blue at the bottom. Oh god. Lining this up is gonna be an absolute pain. Looks like we got brown. The second one. Alright, we got We got one take to do this. Red after brown. I usually save, like, the, uh, the purples and everything. God damn it. Um, till the end, because they are the most difficult to mess up. Um... Kind of like cyan next. Boom. Boom. Uh, green, I think. Sure. And then yellow. I think I'm dead here, boys. But, hey, you know. First round, not that bad. Yeah. That's definitely GG. Unless you give me one more chance, Dreadbear. Hey, chill out, man. I just gotta do the color. Okay. So, magenta is... This is pink, so this goes on the front. Then, this is magenta. Then, it will go... Cyan, right here. Red, right there. And then, it's just the greens. So, I think this green... Shoot. I'm pretty sure this green is that. Oh, God damn it. Oh, no, wait, Dreadbear, don't get mad. That one. And this green is darker? I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna plop it in your brain. Don't kill me, please! I think I'm dead. Oh. Well done. Yes! To introduce the creature oh, to the for I'm usually so bad at this minigame. Because the uh, magenta, purple, and pink, and lime, and I don't want to say puke. Uh, let's go with olive. Uh, mess me up a whole lot. <gasps> Clown? Clown? No, dude. Come on. No, you got me so happy. I was throwing. Ooh, it didn't honk. I think they got rid of the honk. Or maybe that only happens when, when you have three? 
Oh no, it happened then. Bonk. Number three, you don't mess it up. Honk. So that one didn't honk, but this one did. I don't know, man. All I know is that I got it that one time and I've never been able to get it since. So I think they changed something. Chica the Sea. Hey, we know that you're gonna be in security breach. All right, danger keep out it is, and then we're gonna finish it off with some corn maze. I keep looking over here because I want to see Dreadbear come out of the lake, but has not happened yet. Shame. All right, anyways, danger keep out. So if you guys don't know, danger keep out is basically FNAF 1, but with the Jacko animatronics and as you can see, your doors are gone. You only have the lights to defend yourself. So you move around the cameras with D-pad, use the light with X, and also use the lights with Y for the doors. Okay. Doesn't seem too, too bad. Oh, Bonnie's already on the move? Jeez. Um, a good tip is that you can see them approach in the windows. So Bonnie over there, Chica over here. Um, and you can also sometimes catch them in these two cameras. Cam 2A and B, and then uh, Cam 4A and 4B. Since there's three nights, night one, Jacko Chica and Jacko Bonnie, night two adds Grim Foxy, and then night three adds Dreadbear. Since, as you can see, Bonnie's coming up, and zap. Yeah, it's a pretty simple minigame, first night. Second night gets a bit more intense. Uh, and then third night is complete chaos. Can I still honk? Still will no! Oh, yeah, Grim Foxy's a bit difficult, um... And then Dreadbear is a complete pain. But this first night should be pretty good. Here comes... Oh no, he's going in the closet. Chica is... Nowhere. Oh, here comes Chica! Bonnie's still chilling in the closet. Nope, he's he's coming out. There's Chica. And here comes Bonnie. Never mind. He decided to leave. Oh, here he is. Zap, and I'm going to reset. Oh, that is not the button I thought it was. I hit, um... Oh, look at the lantern. what I hit? I hit ZR, and it flashed the light. I don't know what light that flashed, but, uh... It did flash a light, which I did not mean to do. And there's the power. Ooh, Chica! Perfect timing. Thank you for waiting for the power to come back. Here comes Chica again. Zap! Yeah, first night, pretty chill. Kind of boring, actually. <laughs> um, I think FNAF 1 overall is just kind of... Kind of boring <laughs> at, uh, at most points. Specifically earlier nights, but... um. Definitely picks up speed uh, later on, but with these two and just these two, yeah, it is uh, quite uneventful. <laughs> All right, here comes Bonnie, unless he leaves, um, which it looks like he did because I'm not seeing him in the hallway. Cool. Chica is nowhere to be found either. Oh, here comes Bonnie. Here he comes. There he is. What's up, monster? 360. Got him. Actually annihilated him. Chica is nowhere to be found. I would love... Oh, gosh. I would love to flash Chica. I want to flash Chica because then I can reset the power. And hopefully have enough power to survive the night. Oh! Oh, here comes Chica. Uh, Bonnie, hopefully I'll have enough time to reset. I don't know exactly where he is. Flash! Um, if I can find him right now, which I can't, uh, I'm just gonna do that. And hopefully he doesn't come by. There we go. Power is back, and Bonnie's chilling in the corner. Here he comes. Flash. Yeah, you thought, man. Sometimes they can sneak up behind you. And here comes Chica, and I think we should be set. I don't think we're gonna see them again. This night, because it's 5 a.m., it's probably been 5 a.m. for a little bit now. And it seems like they both got reset. Yep, there we go. Awesome. Wolf, wolf, and clown. All right, let's have a look. Do you also honk? You do. Hmm. 
Hmm, hmm, interesting. Oh, we got the, the Jack O'Bonnie pumpkin, or the Bonnie pumpkin, whatever. Nice. And that leaves us with only one more mini game to go. Not only is it the only mini game to have a official ending, it's also kind of the, the whole wrap up to FNAF Help Wanted as a whole. Because once you get the secret basement ending, the mask ending in Curse of Dreadbear Corn Maze, not only do you get Vanny's mask, you also, if you go back through Pizza Party, I think maybe we can see the um the construction of the mall. I wonder if that's in the game. Okay, corn maze. Right off the bat, I'm loving the schmovement. Actually, eh, not really loving the schmovement. So as you guys probably know, um, you move with the left stick and look around with the right one. Um. Red key, hopefully around here, yep. Hopefully, this should be a bit of a breeze. I will say, yep, there he goes, awesome. So it looks like he has the same AI. I do hold the world record. Sorry, I have to flex this every time I talk about <laughs> corn maze. Um, he should see me here. So, keep an eye on this cutout. Or not, if I go quick, there we go. Uh, there was no cutout out this way. What? Wait, what? What turn did I- What? Wait, how did I get here? No! Aw, oh, shoot, I took a wrong turn. That's fine, because the orange key was not over there. He should see me, though, probably. Or not. Pag jump. He's definitely gonna see me soon. Totally. Unless he runs this way and he spawns. Which he did not. No orange key either? Ugh. Not this way. Nope. Alright. Let's get in the cutout. What button do I press? I press B and A. Both buttons that I thought you would use to hide, but apparently not. Pfft, bad spawn. Ugh. I have a specific route that I like to take. I have the orange key. Why am I looking out this way? God damn it. Um, but if he spawns over in that side of the uh, spawn area, you can't do the route. Luckily, though, I still do know all the key locations. Green should be up here. Maybe around this corner. Nope. <laughs> right. Making me look kind of bad here. Video game. I do hold the record. Uh, I just want that to be known. Green key definitely should be down this side of the, uh, the map anyway. <laughs> You're really going to make me look like an idiot. Here's blue key. All right. Despawn. There you go. <laughs> Definitely not the thing I wanted to do right there. Alright, what's the button? C or, of course, because why wouldn't it be? Uh, I was trying to see how far can you go. It's actually pretty far. Dude, dude. His animations are on spot, though, I will say. Steel Wolf. I didn't get the green key. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I swear I'm good at this game. I swear. You can go look it up. Speedrun.com. There's the red key. Okay. The red key and then green key is probably going to be up further up this way. If it wasn't on the top side of the map. Top side in perspective to the, uh, the basement. Should be this corner. But just to be safe... Catch me. There we go. Should be around here. God damn it, dude. <laughs> right. If it's not there, it'll be on the bench bus behind this wall right here. There we go. See, guys, I know what I'm talking about. And then, uh, fun fact, the glitched key, the purple key, will have a, a chime. So it's out that way towards... Oh, gosh. I think I'm dead, actually. I'm dead! Uh, the thing about that area of the map is that there's no cutout. But you heard the chime, so let me get back to that spot. All that's left is the red key. The red key. <laughs> Alright, chimes. Looks like it's bottom left. Yes. Maybe like mid left. I'm gonna wait for him, though. 
Oh yeah, that that should be in the the hayfield. Maybe. Or right here. Uh hayfield? No. Shoot. This corner, maybe? Or this corner? Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, actually, look at me. Then I'll get the key. And then... The cellar is actually right here. Uh, which is sweet. And then we can get the mask. And then we can get Vanny's voice lines. And again, maybe the uh, construction of the mall. I forget how you get that to show up, but I don't know. Maybe they added it. Anyways, let's go. Ooh, the flashlight got brighter. Go down. Go down. And here's the basement. I don't think they would add anything, but there's Vanny's mask. Um, I know you guys are gonna want me to look around, so... Yep, definitely does not look like they added anything new. And... Let's pick it up. Candle is still under the mask. There you go. And it sends you right back to the menu. But, this is not the menu we want to go to. We want to head over to the prize area. If everything is programmed into the switch <laughs> into the switch port there it is i can see it can i even take you with me oh. wait how do i yes i hear you i know no 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 there's no miscommunication i understand Yes, I have it. I made it myself. I think you would like it. I don't think there's gonna be anything now. No, no one suspects anything. But we'll listen. Don't worry. I'll be ready. And I won't let you down. It will be fun. Fun! Yep, and that should be the end of it. Yes, okay. <gasps> Wait, is it actually in the game? Because that teaser was built into the game, it was put into the game onto that TV screen to tease the construction of the mall easter egg. Which hopefully is in the Switch port. Um, and now I gotta get to Pizza Party. Which if I remember correctly, I think I know how to get there. Uh, hello, Mangle. Let's go vanilla. Poggers, vanilla. And then you go this way. Then you head out this way. Uh, far right, I think? Yes. This door. And that will take us to a... <laughs> Wow, Steel Wall, good job, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nintendo Switch port. <laughs> like and subscribe. Uh, there it is, awesome. I think that was a bug, but obviously it's a bug that should be fixed. And hopefully, it actually is in the game. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. I don't think you can get in there. I feel like I'm pressing all the buttons. Oh, 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 Did I do it? I think I did it. Unless it takes me to the show stage, I think I did it. <gasps> it's here. It's actually in here. Coming soon, now hiring. And it looks like it's the same thing. It's the same teaser. No hidden secrets. Unfortunately, though this would have been a, a very good place to hide some, I'll say that. Unless maybe Moon Man or Sunrise is hiding up on these these lights. No? Or... Yeah, uh, but there it is. It is in the game. That was the entirety of the Curse of Dreadbear DLC for FNAF Help Wanted on Nintendo Switch. This was actually a very, very well-made port, right? All the animations look smooth. 
a little bit of texturing mishaps here and there. But I think, you know, for, for the Switch, I think it did a pretty good job of handling itself. Everything looks super clean. The animations, the textures for the most part, all the details are still on there. It's, it's great. So if you really enjoy the DLC, I highly recommend getting it on Switch if you have one so you can play it on the go. I know I'm going to be playing the heck out of this uh, wherever I go. It's an absolute blast and I'm so happy that they finally ported it. Uh, so hopefully they can get it out on Xbox because again, I don't think it's on Xbox just yet. And then, I don't know, again, we're going to have to see where that goes if they keep updating the phones, if they put it on phones, I don't know. Well, that's going to do it for this playthrough. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Hopping into the jalopy, gonna go for a ride To the pizza shop with a friend We're jumping and rock until the sun goes down And the moon is shining forever and ever Forever and ever <laughs>